Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. And I my last two videos has been like two people calling out Bye Bye Girl, right? And now a actor from One Offician is also claiming that Disney and the company scanned their face and body without their permission. So Disney has Hasn't exactly been having the best of luck of not having people call either one their like staff or the company themselves out, especially of late, out as of late. So let's get into this article, shall we? On July 14th, the U.S. Actors Union SAG AFTRA went on strike for the first time in decades, joining Hollywood's writers. On the picket line in the labor dispute against the Alliance of Motion, Picture, and Television Producers. For actors, there are two main issues the union is aiming to address. Fairer pay in the streaming era and major studios' plans to use performers for one day, scan them, and then use artificial intelligence to generate digital performances for future projects without pay or consent. If you thought this sounded too much like a Black Mirror episode, this is a reality facing act. This is the reality facing actors in the tech era. Just as Wanda Fishing Store, Alexia Rubalcia, Robaca, um, Alexia Rubalcaba was that pronounced? I want to apologize if I mispronounced that name. Um, spoke with NPR about how she was one of the she was one of a group of one division background actors who claimed their faces and bodies were scanned by Disney without their consent. The company then created digital re replicas of the actor, although Alex Ex Alexandria said they were never told they will be used in the future. All they know is that they won't. Be getting paid off if it blah, 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 blah. all they know is that they won't ever get paid if it is ever used, making her fearful that the plan to weed out background actors. I'm explaining the process. Rubal Capo told the outlet that after four weeks of working for the Marvel shows set, she and dozens of other background actors were sent. To a tractor trailer, an individually made to step in front of cameras set up on metal rings around glass. She was then instructed to have your hands out, have your head in, look this way, look that way, let us see you, your scared face, let us see your surprised face. As a background actor, Rebecca Hellball makes the SAG after a union a rate of $187 a day. But when her digital avatar was created, she was sorry. My um, there was an awkward pause. Sorry, there my screen went black. But I'll re I'll reread that in case audio was messed up. As a background actor, Robo Kappa makes the SAG after union rate of $187 a day. But when her digital after was created, she was not told how it would be used and there was no indication of payment. What if I don't want to be on Mario Fishing or Sarah Fishing? I fear the AI is eventually going to weed out background and background actors. They won't have any of us anymore. NPR went out went on to outline a statement from S A G after us SAG after us chief negotiator, Duke Duncan Crabtree Ireland, who suggested some background performers have been offered just a day's pay for their scan imagery. As 
per the first, she said the groundbreaking AI proposal that they gave us yesterday. They proposed that our background performers should be scan should be able to scan be scanned, get one day's page pay, and their companies should own that scan. Their co their image and their likeness and should be able to use it for the rest of their eternity on any project they want. No consent and no conversation. Okay. I think I read the rest of this article, but like, I can see what this uh, background actor said. It's point. Um, if you are g going to have someone get scanned, then and use in the future, if you're not going to pay them for future uses, at the very least you can you can at least sell them. Okay, before you get into this program, we're going to um scan you for potential future uses. Are you okay with that? If that person says no, then just say okay, then we, ha we can't go along with you any further then, if you're not okay with that. That seems more fair, to be honest, than using Scanning them, using their likeness, with no consent and no cons conversation. Sure, it would be nice to get conversation, but realistically, getting their no, not getting their consent, is crossing the line that you guys should not be crossing at all whatsoever. So, in my opinion. Disney, Marvel Studios, whatever company is doing this, most likely Disney, slash Marvel, you guys are in the wrong for it. You guys are in the wrong for this. Make sure the uh, actors you're hiring is aware of this and actually consents to it. Otherwise, you guys are in the wrong for it. I can see them taking your asses to court. I can. And I won't feel any ounce of guilt or bad for you guys if you guys keep going on this road of um, using, like, scanning people for their likeness so you guys can use that in the future without their consent. Like, be respectful. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind of one other. I will talk to you fellow mutants later.